In this presentation, we will explore strategies for developing students' speaking and writing abilities in the classroom. In the field of language teaching, productive skills refer to the abilities to produce language, specifically speaking and writing. These skills require learners to generate their own language rather than simply receive and process input. Teaching productive skills effectively is crucial for language learners to become proficient in their target language. Overview of Productive Skills Basically, if you ask me what is productive skills, simply productive skills refer to language skills that involve producing language, such as speaking and writing. Teaching productive skills effectively is crucial for language learners to become proficient in their target language. Productive skills is significant for effective communication in both personal and professional contexts. Good speaking skills can help individuals to articulate their thoughts and ideas as well as to persuade and influence others. Additionally, speaking skills can help to create a positive impression which can be beneficial in a wide range of settings such as in the workplace, in academic settings and in social interactions. These two aspects of receptive and productive skills are different. One key difference between productive and receptive skills is the nature of their interaction. Productive skills require learners to actively engage in the language production process, formulating their thoughts and expressing them coherently. This active engagement enhances their oral and written communication abilities and promotes fluency and accuracy. In contrast, Receptive skills involve passive engagement, where learners focus on understanding and interpreting the language used by others. This passive engagement helps learners develop their listening and reading comprehension skills, allowing them to understand and analyze different forms of language input. Now we jump to pedagogical approaches for teaching speaking. Teaching speaking skills deals with the variation of using different techniques, activities and methods inside the ELT classroom to develop speaking efficiency, productivity, using correct pronunciation, paralinguistic features and idea or expression the correct language structure. So in this regard, teaching speaking required different techniques or activities. If you give speaking tasks that simulate real-life communication scenarios, such as role plays or debates. For example, role play is an interactive activity that enables students to practice conversational skills. Teachers can assign a particular scenario or situation and ask students to act out specific roles. For instance, students can role play job interviews or meetings scenarios to help them learn professional communication. Similarly, Debating is an effective activity that helps students develop their speaking and critical thinking skills. Teachers can form teams and assign them a topic to debate, giving them time to prepare their arguments. Students can then present their arguments and respond to the opposing team's arguments, followed by a rebuttal round. The teacher can judge the debate based on the quality of arguments presented. Furthermore, content-based instruction approaches integrate speaking practice with teaching content by having students discuss topics related to what they are learning. Flipped Classroom The modern applied science methodology encourages teachers to flip their classrooms by having students watch instructional videos and read materials outside of the classroom and then apply and discuss what they have learned during class time. Similarly, scaffolding helps students gain confidence and develop speaking skills progressively. For example, language teachers can provide students with support and scaffolding in the form of graphic organizers, sentence frames, and other structures that can help them build their skills. Now we jump to the classroom procedure to teach speaking skills. Number 1. 
Begin by introducing the topic of speaking skills. Explain why it is important to learn how to communicate effectively. Number 2. Divide the class into pairs or small groups and provide each group with a speaking task such as a debate or role play. Number 3. Give the students time to prepare for their task and provide feedback as they practice. Number 4. When they are ready, have each group present their task to the class. Number 5. After each presentation, discuss the strengths and weaknesses of the presentation. Number 6. As a class, come up with ideas on how to improve the presentation. Number 7. Provide the students with additional speaking tasks and activities and repeat the procedure. Number 8. At the end of the lesson, provide a summary of what was discussed and learned. Now we jump pedagogical approaches for teaching writing. Engaging students in critical analysis and evaluation is essential in teaching writing. By encouraging students to think deeply about their topic, consider different perspectives and evaluate the strengths and weaknesses of their arguments, they can develop a more sophisticated approach to writing. Teachers can introduce critical reading exercises where students analyze and evaluate well-written pieces of writing, looking for patterns, rhetorical strategies, and effective use of evidence. This analytical approach helps students understand the qualities of good writing and provides them with a benchmark for their own work. Another approach for teaching writing is to break down the writing process into manageable steps such as pre-writing, drafting, revising, editing, and publishing. Each step should be clearly explained to students and they should be provided with ample practice opportunities to apply these steps in their writing. Moreover, organizing the writing process through the use of graphic organizers, outlining, or storyboarding can help students structure their ideas and create coherent pieces of writing. This scaffolding technique supports students' ability to plan their writing and facilitates the development of their organizational skills. Similarly, collaborative writing have students work together to plan, write, and revise pieces of writing, such as essays or reports. Effective writing instruction involves teaching students how to incorporate research and evidence to support their arguments. Teachers can guide students in finding credible sources, evaluating the reliability of information and referencing their sources accurately. Incorporating research assignments into writing tasks allows students to practice locating, synthesizing, and integrating information from various sources. By doing so, students gain not only an understanding of the topic they are writing about but also an appreciation for the value of evidence-based writing. Similarly, coherence and flow are crucial aspects of good writing. Teachers can help students achieve coherence by teaching them how to use cohesive devices such as transition words, pronouns, and repetition to connect ideas and maintain a smooth flow of thought. Peer feedback, both in small groups and through writing conferences, can also contribute to improving coherence. Students can receive constructive criticism and suggestions from their peers, which helps them identify areas where their writing may lack clarity or logical progression. Now we jump developing speaking and writing activities. Effective communication skills, both in speaking and writing, are crucial in various aspects of life, including academic, professional, and personal contexts. 
Developing activities that enhance these skills is essential for students as it promotes their ability to articulate ideas, express themselves clearly, and engage in meaningful discussions. One effective speaking and writing activity for students is participating in debates or discussions. By engaging in these activities, students can enhance their critical thinking skills, develop persuasive arguments, and learn how to effectively communicate their ideas. Another activity is providing students with writing prompts that encourage critical analysis and reflection. This can include topics that require students to analyze a specific issue or share their personal experiences. To develop effective speaking and writing activities, instructors should encourage students to use credible research sources to support their arguments. This not only reinforces the importance of evidence-based thinking but also teaches students how to find reliable information. Incorporating research into speaking activities can involve assigning students a topic for debate and requiring them to back their arguments with evidence. In writing activities, instructors can guide students on how to find scholarly articles or reputable websites to support their claims. And lastly, Developing speaking and writing activities involves emphasizing the importance of clear and concise language. Instructors can guide students on how to avoid unnecessary jargon or complex language that might hinder effective communication. This can be achieved through targeted exercises that focus on simplifying language and expressing ideas in a straightforward manner. Now we jump, how assessing productive skills. We can evaluate the students in terms of productive skills in two ways, informal and formal assessment. In informal assessment, teacher should observation of student performance in class. Similarly, teacher can encourage self or peer assessment and provide weekly journal and learning learning logs can evaluation students in formal assessment. On the other hand, teacher can assess the formal assessment. The parameters for formal assessment includes standardized tests or exams, oral presentation and writing portfolios that encompasses the student's ability to productive skills. In conclusion, developing speaking and writing activities is crucial for lower secondary and secondary as well as college or university students as it helps them enhance their communication skills, critical thinking abilities, and capacity to articulate ideas effectively. By incorporating diverse activities that encourage research, critical analysis, and reflection, instructors can facilitate students' growth in both speaking and writing domains. Ultimately, these activities contribute to students' overall academic and professional development, preparing them for success in their future endeavors.